Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In the last video, we did the basic setup of Unify Identity. Today, we're gonna set up the one-click Wi-Fi, and in the next video, we'll set up the one-click VPN. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www mactelecomnetworks.com you can find us on instagram at mactelecomnetworks and if you'd like to join our discord channel i'll leave the link in the description below so first to start uid is meant for businesses you're not going to be using this much in your residential if you want to try it out they do have that free tier that you can try it out if you want to do some testing so we could see at the top i'm under my mac telecom site and we could see we have uid access which isn't configured yet we have one click wi-fi and then we have our one click VPN. I'm currently under my site, but we could go under all sites if we'd like. Now let's go to my UDM Pro and look at which wireless networks we have configured. So right now we only have three Wi-Fi SSIDs, Dolores Mac Telecom cameras and the Queen's House. If you have four SSIDs and you have wireless uplinks turned on, UID will not create a new one click Wi-Fi SSID. You either need to turn off wireless uplinks or delete one of your Wi-Fi SSIDs. So now let's configure our one-click Wi-Fi. If we go to our settings in our UID, we could click on Wi-Fi. Here, this is gonna give us a couple things that we could do. So our workspace SSID, which by default, it's just called UID, and I'll just leave it at that. We have maximum duration of Wi-Fi connections, you could have it forever one day, one week, or one month. I'll leave it for one day. And then we have user's Wi-Fi password lifetime. This, we could also do a couple different things. We have three months, one week, or one month. And we also have Wi-Fi password complexity. So this is tied to the user's username and password. Same thing goes for the IoT Wi-Fi password complexity. And then we have auto setup Wi-Fi on host devices. So Wi-Fi will be set up automatically on all host devices, which your host is your Unify OS console. We had hide the SSID. We could allow all users to connect by default. And then it requires location detecting when connecting Wi-Fi, which I'm going to leave off. So there's really not much you need to do in here unless you want to change some of these settings. So I was doing some testing and I had this turned on originally, but let's click on the one click Wi-Fi. Under this menu, we could see that it's on one host device. And if we click on the host device, it would show my UDM Pro. On the left hand pane, we could see our assignment. And these would be the users that you want to connect to this Wi-Fi SSID. Right now we have it all users of this workspace, which really it is just me, but you could create different groups to allow different users to different SSIDs. We could go to the IoT Wi-Fi devices, which we don't have any right now. And then we could look at the host devices. So the host device is Mac Telecom, which is my UDM Pro. We could see that I disabled the UID Wi-Fi. We could see the model, the Mac, the IP address, and then the UID agent. Let's go ahead and enable this Wi-Fi. On the right-hand pane, it tells us all the same things for the host device, and then we have UID Wi-Fi. We're gonna enable Wi-Fi on this host device. Under the enable toggle switch, we could see the SSID, which is showing UID and it's locked. We need to change that SSID if we want in the settings wheel below. Under the SSID, we could tell it which network we want it to connect to. So currently it's in default, but we could have it in our management VLAN, IoT, or whichever VLAN you want it to connect to. I'm just going to leave it on default for this video. And then we have enable IoT network. So to enable IoT Wi-Fi, the firmware version of the Unify access point should be 5.71 or above. For the IoT Wi-Fi, I'm going to put it on a different VLAN. So I'll put it on my IoT VLAN, a VLAN ID of 30. I'm going to have both of these SSIDs broadcasting the 5 gigahertz and the 2.4, and then we'll press save. Now going back to the UDM Pro, the wireless networks, you could see that it automatically created this UID Wi-Fi SSID. I didn't create a new wireless network here. Okay, now we have the one-click Wi-Fi configured in our UID. What we need to do, we need to download the UI app on our phone. I already have it downloaded, but you could also download this for your PC, which I'll show you after this. So I'm going to press open on the UI app, and I'm already signed in. Typically, it would ask you for a passcode to get in. But we could see at the top, there's the domain, which I'm going to have blurred out. We could see it says, hello, Cody, and then my email address. Below that, we have the doors, we have the Wi-Fi, we have help desk and approvals. I'm super admin for the site, so we're going to have the approvals. But under the Wi-Fi, we could see it says UID, which is that SSID. And all we need to do to connect to the Wi-Fi is click on the Wi-Fi. It says UI wants to join Wi-Fi network UID. We'll press join. Now we could see that I'm connected to that Wi-Fi SSID. So that's how easy it is to configure the one-click Wi-Fi. Now, if you want to do this from your laptop or your desktop, you can. We're going to go to the main dashboard for our UID domain. 
on the main dashboard, we could see download UI applications. So we could see UI, this is for your Android or your iPhone. And then this is for your desktop. So this is for Windows or Mac OS. Beside that, we have the UI Verify and then we have UID Manager. I've already downloaded the UID desktop and I'll show you what it looks like. So here it is. On the right hand side, we could see everything we could do. We have our dashboard and we could see our Wi Fi. So if we want to connect to the Wi Fi, all we need to do is check off this toggle switch. And then we have approvals and we have our help desk and we could look under apps. I have my workspace and then I have my UID manager portal. And beside that, we have notifications. Currently, there's a VPN assignment notification and then a user account has been locked. If we want to assign more users to the one click Wi Fi, we need to add the users. I only have myself added right now, so let's add somebody else. We're on our main dashboard for my main account. We'll go over to users and then in the top right hand corner, we're going to click on add user. Under the add user, there's a few different ways we could go about it. We could add a new user, we could invite a user, we could import users from CSV, we could import from G Suite or Office 365. I'm just going to invite the user. So this user is just going to be another UI account that I've already created. So I'll type the email address up top and then we're going to press send invitation. And now I've gotten an email from UID saying you've been invited to join the UID workspace by Cody McCallum. After I clicked accept invitation, it brings me to this page. Unify identity, secure, smart, and easy access. Welcome to my site name. And then it says, please set a password to activate your UID account for this email. I'm going to give it the first name of YouTube and the last name of test. And then we need to set a password. Under the password, we need to choose some security questions. And then we just press continue. Next, it's saying enroll in multi-factor using UI Verify. So let's press setup. And now we have to scan the QR code. And I did try to put this into Google Authenticator and it wouldn't let me. So you need to use UI Verify. Now it says setup UI Verify has been completed and we'll press done and then continue. Congratulations, account setup is successful. And then we need to deselect allow all users to connect by default. So you can see that I have that toggle switch off. Now we'll click on the one click Wi-Fi and we'll go over to the assignment. From the assignments, we're going to click on assign user. And this is going to show us our user groups or the user. So I'll click on user. And then I'll select that YouTube test account and then we'll press OK. Now that YouTube test account could access the UID Wi-Fi SSID. If we wanted all users to be able to access it, we could leave that toggle switch on. But that's gonna be it for this video. It was very easy to set up the one-click Wi-Fi. In the next video, we'll do the one-click VPN. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.